Hey guys, Jimmy Vegas here. In this little video, I am going to take a look at an asset in the Unity Asset Store called Low Poly Simple Nature Pack. Now, I've actually had this for a good few months already, and I thought it was about time to review it. So, let's take a look. So, for those of you who do follow me uh, a lot more than just casually, I think, um, you may have seen this asset in a couple of my videos before, specifically my Endless Runner project. Um, so, I've used the assets of this pack in that particular package just because um, I felt it fitted in quite well. But let's take a look at it overall. Quality wise, it's quite nice. So, low poly is always something which can look very simplistic, but with just a, a tiny bit of post-processing, you can really change the aesthetic of it. And that really shines here. So, usually you'll find low poly to be uh, very flat and plain. And this isn't quite as flat and plain as some low poly um, assets. We can see that more so in the trees. So, quality-wise, I think it's very nice. It works quite well quantity we actually get quite a bit as well if we take a look around we can see the various different things we've got we've got the rocks the trees the stumps the sticks the grass the mushrooms there's quite a bit here to actually deal with uh, everything is put into one singular texture uh, sorry material which is to be expected with this kind of asset which is completely fine um, everything is laid out quite nicely we've got all the prefabs there we've got the demo scene always love those demo scenes and the texture as well obviously we can see all the prefabs here the different types that we've got so i think it fits quite well so quantity wise yeah it's not too bad um extras don't think there's really anything in the way of extras we get what we see here i mean it describes itself as a simple nature pack a simple nature pack is exactly what it has so there's nothing really extra that we could comment on here how easy is it to use incredibly easy most assets like this usually are it's just a case of drag and drop you know there's our mushroom in there there's another stump easy and obviously this demo scene gives you a good indication of what things could look like always good to see and over here we've got everything laid out nice and neatly so yeah i would say it's pretty easy to use it is incredibly versatile um, mainly because it's laid out neatly remember the folders being laid out neatly really shows that it's a tidy developer they have everything neat and tidy and that's always good to see how customizable is it that's where it fails ever so slightly but you can't really knock it so the texture itself that applies on the material is all one so if we change one thing everything changes and we can see there just how it's changed if we change everything metallic you can see everything does it same with the smoothness but in doing so we can create cool effects so obviously we've created something completely different there just by playing around with one single little bit of the material and obviously playing around with a light let's change it to a white and let's rotate it a little more you can see just how much the asset has changed in its aesthetic from its original image which is this here or when we've originally imported it so customizability i would say is quite high in some degree just be mindful that everything is inside that one single material price it is free which is always good to see uh, it may change price remember they go up they come down at time of recording this it is free size is just 348 kilobytes that is a really good size for what we get here yes i know low poly usually is but you will see some low poly assets are really um, quite large unnecessarily so that is a good sign that this is a good asset at 348 kilobytes so how useful is this? Well, I've managed to find it very useful because I've used it in my project and I really like its design. So I would say if you're creating anything low poly, if you need a forest or just a little bit of nature or just a little bit of background, this is going to be really, really useful. So guys, as you know, I don't rate assets, either recommend them or I don't. And I would recommend this for most people. If you're a beginner and you're just looking to create a nice simple area to play around in, this is perfect. This is just going to suit you down to the ground it is fantastic it's a nice little asset to play around with if you've been using unity for a while you've got to grips with a couple of different things but perhaps you want to create something for a mobile device this is going to suit that as well even if you've been using unity for years like i have this could still be useful it was useful to me so yeah i would absolutely recommend this to pretty much anybody 
So guys, have you tried this asset yourself? You let me know what you think. Is it good? Is it bad? And if you've got an asset on the asset store, let me know as well, because I'd love to check it out in one of these little review videos. And finally, don't forget, click subscribe, click on the bell icon as well, and stay up to date with everything I upload to my channel, including these reviews, tutorials, and Unity gameplays that people have made. So until the next video, guys, thank you very much for watching.